So to day two, and the first we see. Third team member for Germany, Bettina Hoy on the 10-year-old Woodsides Ashby. And from the moment she entered the arena, you knew you were watching something special, Lucinda. Yes, I don't get excited by dressage, and this was something very special. Just the way the pair of them came around the outside of the arena before they entered was pretty dramatic. But the thing that really got me the whole way through, and see if you can see this too, is what pleasure the two of them were having executing this test. It was not a labour. It was a real enjoyment, and it was a, a, an honour to see it. And I very rarely would say that about dressage. The other thing that I love about this horse and the way that Bettina has trained him is the way they always talk in the books about a horse carrying his weight on his back legs. If you watch this test, you can see it more often than not. You can see him just sitting down. I know it sounds, you're not actually looking at a cat sitting down, but you just see how he is really bearing his weight on his hind end. And that frees up this terrific shoulder. And, and boy, does he, does he excite you. Look at him. He's, he's loving it. One of the great things about the dressage in Hereth was they played lovely music all the way through the tests, which fitted in with most beats of most of the horses. Here he is in his medium trot and wait for the extended. Very expressive with his shoulders and his front legs. And watch him as he comes back down. You, you hardly notice he just suddenly is there in his collected trot. Now the extended. Hind legs moving up stronger than they were in the medium. Somehow Bettina, who's very small, is absorbing this enormous movement without being bounced around. I'm quite sure I wouldn't be able to sit like that. And amazing that this horse can walk with such relaxation. I mean, he's fit and raring to go, isn't he? But look at him, I mean, a fantastic walk. I would say it's probably the hardest movement of all the walk. You haven't got any real firepower there because you've got no MPH. And it's a very difficult movement on the, on the brain, as you say, because they're not normally as relaxed as this. Well, there already had been a few gasps from the crowd because one or two tens had already appeared on the scoreboard, which you can't see on your screen, but... Viewers in the stadium could watch the scores as the test unfurled. Just about perfect halt. Much wrong with that. This is quite a difficult movement too because you're having to fit these four loops of the serpentine in which means you've got to be turning pretty tightly each time to get four loops in and of course two of the four loops you're on the wrong leg and if they practice the test at all the horse knows that a flying change onto the other leg is coming any moment so it's very here it comes actually it was a tiny bit early there for being really fussy yes and it only scored seven <laughs> off into extended canter again you can see him sitting down and freeing up that front end both Bettina and her husband Andrew the Australian gold medalist have spent a long time with Klaus Barkenhol in Germany the Olympic dressage rider there who's obviously a very very good trainer he's helped these two a great deal I believe I think they got caught over there in foot and rise, so they decided to spend most of last season over there rather than come back to a non-existent sport in England. Again, she, like David O'Connor, maintains the bend in the extended counter but keeps the body straight down that long side. It's interesting because usually things look better on video, there's sort of a dimension missing on the television, but I'd actually say this test looked better in real life than it does here. It really was something very special. Just having to say, oi, come up there, he's putting his head down a little bit low and looking like he might just be about to overbend. She's quick to correct it.
Well, it was indeed a joy to watch. Fantastic performance from Bettina Hoy, and she scored 11 tens in all, including three tens for her riding. And that is, well, you just don't get better than that, do you? Fantastic performance. The crowd really lifted by a test that, as Lucinda said, was so charming to watch. And now everybody waiting.